Y'all remember when they presented this song at E3 last year? Of course, the pitch wasn't as high, but it was it still was banging. Well, this year, Sony did not do no fancy long-ass intro this time around. It was just a little quick intro, and that was that. And they went straight into it. So, yeah, that's a plus on Sony's behalf. <laughs> but they, I had to present that beat. I had to bring that beat back, because that joint was amazing. Though. I was pumped. But, anywho, so, yeah, I'm still going at it with my E3 coverage. And right now, we are looking at the fourth press conference of the day, uh, Monday, June the 9th. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was Sony's press conference, obviously. And how did they start theirs off? Talking about Destiny. So yeah, you know, we all know about Destiny. It comes out um this year, this September, you know, and so forth and whatnot. But here's what we didn't know. We knew that the beta was coming. We just didn't know when. Well, we have an answer. July 17th. And in fact, they even released the alpha first, or the first alpha beta now. So it's out now. So you can actually download that joint now. Um, There's also a Destiny bundle. Yes. So you get the right PS4 that comes with the right controller with the game in 30 days PlayStation Plus. And that comes out September 9th. I believe that's the same day the game itself comes out. Yeah, that sounds about right. So yeah, you know, that's a good step in the right direction for Sony, you know. And then they, uh, excuse me, they showed us the second game, The Order 1886. Remember how everybody was talking about it was delayed or whatever and pushed back rubber? Well, we got it at least. A release date which was announced later on, not a part of the press conference, but it was still announced nevertheless, February the 20th. So that's the release date for the order 1886. And once again, it looks amazing. And there's going to be three collector's editions for this game. So you got the European collector's edition, and then there's two North American versions, both of them for the P4. There's the $80 joint, and then there's one, the premium edition, that costs $150. So yes, there are three collector's editions. For this game. So look that up. And info about that actually is in the description box below. The next game they presented to us is Entrine. And it looks pretty good. It's out now. So you can download it on the PS4. And it's only 10 bucks, And it's coming soon for the P3 and Vita. And then after that, they, we finally saw some more info on Infamous Second Son. A new DLC that comes out this August. Uh, called First Light. And you don't need the game to play this DLC. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm already, you know, I the elevation in my voice kind of got excited, so my throat kind of hurt a little bit. But, uh, <coughs> excuse me. Like I was saying, you do not need the actual disc to play this DLC. I crap you not. And this DLC featuring this chick with the purple aura, so she seems to be the main character of the DLC. And again, it comes out this uh, August, and it's called First Light. Then, it popped up on the screen, and the place just went crazy. Little Big Planet 3. Before the dude came and get out two words, the place went crazy. As soon as they saw that logo. Little Big Planet 3. We got new characters. Three new characters. It's on the P4, and it's coming this November. And it's Little Big Planet. You can't complain about it. So, it's it going to do its thing. Then, we get Bloodborne. Which comes out next year. The trailer looks sick. It is creepy as hell. It is unbelievable. You couldn't believe it. And it is confirmed as the spiritual successor to Demon Souls. So, and it looks sweet. Even though it's a trailer. It looks sweet. It has potential for the gameplay to actually be like crazy. And then, they talk more about Far Cry 4. And we got more gameplay. And, it, and as usual, it looks amazing. But here's the kicker. Here's the kicker. Friends can join in even if they don't own the game. Let me repeat that. Your boys can join you when you play Far Cry 4 even if they don't have the game themselves. The whole place where, oh, I crap you not. Then after that, we saw Dead Island tr uh, 2, the trailer. And there is a beta for it. As well as character customization, so the crowd was really uh, excited about that. Then we got Diablo 3 Reaper Soul, which comes out the day after my birthday, August 19th. That's the day when it comes out. And it's associated with The Last of Us, which has been confirmed will be remastered and coming to the PS4. Then, of course, they talk more about the Battlefield Hardline. Um, 
They announced that they talk about the beta, how it's out now, what you gotta do to get the beta. So, and they show more gameplay, you know, and I believe it was more in the multiplayer, I believe. So, again, you know, Battlefield, they doing right. They, they associate themselves with Sony as opposed to Call of Duty, who associate with themselves with Microsoft. And unlike Microsoft, who just showed us story mode, like, oh my god, wait till my review video. I'm a, okay, yeah, wait till my review video. And wait till Wednesday. But, um, uh, <laughs> Battlefield making the right moves. They doing the right stuff. So, who knows? And then, uh, Sony announced a partnership with Paradox Interactive. And the first game by Paradox is Magicka 2. They unleashed this unusual, somewhat funny, a WTF kind of trailer. And that was that with that. Then, the crowd went crazy for the remaster of Grand Fandango. So, I'm not all that familiar with that game, to be honest with you. But, apparently, it was an old classic. That they're going to bring to the PS4 and the Vita. And then, of course, um, we got the independent game. Bro Force looks insane. Bro Force. B-R-O-F-O-R-C-E. That game looks insane. And then we got Talos Principle. That looks interesting. So don't sleep on those two games. Then we got a new game called Let It Die. Comes out next year. And it's too crazy. It's absolutely crazy. And then um, we got another game called... Abzu, I guess A B Z U. I hope I, hopefully I pronounced that correctly. Abzu, there's no release date by, it. and it's by Giant Squid, and it looks somewhat beautiful. It looks really, you know, it, it looks beautiful. It looks somewhat beautiful. The game after that is No Man's Sky, and it looks pretty good. It reminds me of Star Fox 64, but you can tell that it's its own game. So it's like a pilot game. So you in the jet or whatever, you flying around shooting, shooting stuff. So it kind of that's right. right that's the only reason why I'm. Got me thinking of Star Fox 64, but it is its own game. Then it talked a little bit about the PS camera, and then which led to Project Morpheus, which is a virtual reality thing where you can play a bunch of games on it. One of them is a new alien game, which was not said on this um conference, but it was more of on the side. So yeah, stay tuned for that one. Then we get to more about the PSN. So now YouTube will be um added to the p4 later this year and you can upload video captures quickly onto youtube and of course the, the crowd went crazy over that and you can also see your friends uploads in the what's new area also twitch and ustream will be on the p4 and also some free to play games will be on the p4 and then it's all about the playstation now stuff like the ps3 titles um there will be a beta for the playstation now which comes out july 31st in the u.s and in canada and then it will be available on the P3 and Vita shortly after. And also, it will be available on selected Sony TVs. So, you just need a controller and boom! You can play PlayStation Now on your Sony TV. You don't need a system of any kind. I crap you not. And they talk about some of the games you can play on there. And one of them, Ultra Street Fighter 4. So, there's a mention of that. But we didn't see gameplay of it, but it is a mention. So that's good. Also, they announced that Minecraft was coming to the Vita. And speaking of um, TVs, PlayStation TV will be 100 bucks this fall. It basically PlayStation 4 game on a second TV in the home. You can play your PS4 game on a second TV in the home. Vita, PS1, and PS Classic. And there's also a bundle that costs $139, which comes with a PS3 controller, a memory card, I forgot what the size was, and Lego Movies, the video game. Also, they announced, they mentioned... Disney Infinity 2.0. More on that in the on the side video. And also they gave us gameplay of Mortal Kombat X. So we saw new characters. Cats were leaping off the walls and off the backgrounds and stuff. And finishers. You know, fatalities. It, it looks sweet. So that trailer is actually the gameplay. I crap you not. And then they uh, presented a new series called Power. So you can actually, it's a TV show that you can watch on your um, PSN or whatever. Then they talk about the police, PlayStation Plus and announced Ratchet and Clank the movie. And then, of course, The Last of Us Remastered for the P4, which will be out July 29th. Metal Gear Solid, The Phantom F Pain, which was leaked the night before, um, June the 9th. And then, yes, it's coming. Grand Theft Auto V to the P4 comes out this far this year. You can transfer your characters from the P3 and 360 versus to the P4. And then later on, it was announced that this game would be on the Xbox One as well. They also showed us Batman Arkham Knights with gameplay, driving the Batmobile, and Scarecrow Nightmare Missions only on the PS4. But again, no release date. So far, we're looking at uh, October, even though I heard it was pushed back. And then, yes, ladies and gentlemen, 
it finally happened. They ended with a new Uncharted 4 called A Thief's End, and that comes out next year, 2015. And that's basically it for Sony's press conference. Speaking of basically it, that's basically it for this gameplay. That was basically it for the opposition, and that was basically it overall. <laughs> so yeah, you know, I was beasting and feasting this game. There's one more conference left for me to cover, and that's Nintendo's press conference. So that's the next video, so stay tuned for that. Um, you know, and I catch you there or watch some of my previous videos. And there I go right there. Bam! <laughs>